okay, so you want to get into DeFi, you want to start using DEXs, decentralized exchanges for whatever reason, and you need to learn how to use Uniswap so you can swap your tokens. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in the safest, fastest, and most simple way possible. By the way, quick side note, for you to use Uniswap, you're going to need an online wallet such as MetaMask. Now, if you don't have an online wallet, don't worry, you can click this link, this card right here. I'll also leave this at the end of the video and it will show you exactly how to create a MetaMask wallet, but also how to use Uniswap. But if you already have a MetaMask wallet, let's dive right in and see how you can use Uniswap. So we go to Uniswap again, make sure it's HTTPS Uniswap.org. You'll arrive at the main website here and you can launch the app. To the top right here, you're gonna see a connect. You click this connect button and what you wanna do is select your wallet. We're gonna select MetaMask, then select your account and you're gonna allow them to see address account balance and activity and suggest transactions to approve. This is so you can see what you're trying to do and you have to manually approve each transaction, but it's actually quite simple. Let me show you here. Let's click connect. And here you're gonna see your Ethereum balance, 0.05. And here you can select the token you can exchange to. But another way to do this is actually go to the top left corner right here and click tokens. And here you get a list of top tokens on Uniswap. This is for the year, but you can change this to a day, hour, or whatever you choose. You can also choose the blockchain you're using. We're using Ethereum. You can use Polygon, Optimism, but that's for another video. Let's just use Ethereum here. So let's say we want to buy Lido DAO token here. You select the token you want to exchange from. Let's choose Ethereum. And you can click max or choose whatever amount you want. Now, if you're wondering why it's not going to the full amount, the max amount of Ethereum you have in there, that's because there's gas fees to be able to perform this. Let me, let me show you. Let's click 0.01. It will tell you how much you will receive right here. It shows you the price over here and you can just review your swap. It gives you a warning that this is not on a leading US centralized exchange or is frequent swap on Uniswap, but that's okay, I understand. As you can see, the network fee here is pretty high, but that's okay, we're doing this video anyway. So network is busy, gas prices are high, and estimates are less accurate. So this is actually gonna cost me more Ethereum than I have here, because as you can see, I don't have enough Ethereum to cover the fees. So let's click reject. So I don't have enough Ethereum here, so let's do something else. Let's use Decentraland Mana, which I bought earlier on, and make that into LDO. Let's click max. Let's review swap. Here we have to actually approve this to change from Mana into LDO. This is the price, approve. Now we're allowed to interact with that contract. We click sign. Transaction is confirmed. And now we can confirm the transaction. So basically we had to also approve it. That costs a little bit more money, but that's okay. Okay, so now we actually did the transaction, but it's not showing up in our wallet. So what you do, you just go to import tokens right here and search the token you're looking for. Here's LDO, Lido DAO token. Go to next. Here it is, 15 Lido, it's in already. Import tokens, and there you go. Now if you go back here and go to your assets, you will see it. Now the best way to actually do this so you don't get scammed or you actually get the wrong token is actually to go to CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. Let me show you. If you go to CoinMarketCap right here, you can go to any cryptocurrency token. Let's just use Shibu Inu for example here. And what you can do is you can actually copy the Ethereum address here. Then all you have to do is open up your wallet or sorry, go to swap. And right here at the top where it says search tokens and NFT collections, you just paste the address. And there you go, Shibu Inu. So if there's a token you're unsure about, or if one is not listed on Uniswap for some reason, you can do it this way. So there you go. Please like this video if you got any value. Now, if you want to learn how to use PancakeSwap on the Binance chain, which has much cheaper fees, then make sure you watch this video right here, or alternatively, check out this video recommended to you by YouTube. Subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video.